and hello from Walla Walla Watch Them. Nice sunny afternoon. Hey, what I'm here for today is to uh, show a few things about holding closer tolerances on standard machine tools. And that's a good thing to do sometimes. And uh, I have a uh, a method here that is just so old. I don't know. I don't think a whole bunch of people have showed this before. I think it's too old. So uh, let's get to this. Okay. Oh, just a great day. Having a lot of fun with this melon machine. Let me get this tripod untangled. And uh, I got you pointing. I don't know which way. Here, every way, but what where? where that would be good. I'll tell you what, this is quite a gizmo here. But I think I can get you so you can see what you need to see. There we go. I think I quit flopping this thing around. Okay. Now, what we have here are end measuring rods. Here's the box they came in. It's a um, a Lufkin set, and let's see, can you see way over here? Yeah, okay, um, there's two micrometer heads, um, they go from three to four inches, and there's a black one for uh, one axis and a red one here for another, but I just have these others set here, I'm going to show a couple of things, so if you want to position um, something, let's say, uh, um, you set this on zero, if it'll set on zero, it's going to bounce around a little bit. Let me see if I can get to make sure this is all real tight. All this is in there. It's centered. Looks good. So you can set this on zero <clears throat> and uh, or a number. We'll put zero all the way down there. So it's on zero, no confusion. And you want to move this thing uh, two inches, you can pull this out, this one here out, slide the micrometer head over like that. And that's two, th uh, that's two inches within uh, 10 thousandths of an inch. Or you can dial in anything you want on this micrometer head there's the ten thousandths for an error. And these things are made uh, just of the highest quality. They really are nice. Okay. So we'll drop, uh, um, oh, we'll put that back up here. It's just a little easier. We'll put the two inch one back in there. And we're going to slip this one right back here, okay? See if I can get it all in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna reset that. Let me show you a couple of things here. I'm going to go this way. Then I'm gonna wind it into uh, load that two turns. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's doing something we're gonna talk about too. Okay, let's, oh, it sure doesn't like moving that. I'm going to leave that dial alone. I think I'm, I think it's okay right there. It wants to drop right down there. Let's see how we're looking. I think we're okay. It just, uh, it's touchy. It's a tenth. Uh, one ten thousandths. Okay. Now I'm going to set, um, uh, the table dial on zero and crank in five. Okay. Uh, let me get that on zero. Okay. Hold on. Right there, it's on zero. Now I'm going to crank it in five thousandths. That's right on five on the dial. Now, isn't that interesting? We're going to try that again, just to uh, make sure it's... Uh, i got to get it at least on a number so we can count. Okay, I'm going to go five more. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Five more. Okay. Well, that's not quite five. I'm going to try five more. I want to get it on zero here. I think we're okay. I don't know. I'm going to back it up. Back it up and put her back. I'm going to get that at the top. And I'm going to back it up. Okay. I'm going to just kind of give her one wind. Oop. I'll give it two. It's good to load up an indicator. Okay. I'm going to set this on zero and go set that on zero. Okay. Okay. See if I can just do it. No, I can't. Okay, so it's about a half thousandth just before uh, zero. I'm going to crank it in five. And what did it do? Uh-oh. It's not really cranking at five, is it? Well, this indicator, I believe, is. So I will show them actually what it's doing. So I'm going to back it up again. And I'm going to go by the indicator at this point. Let's see if I can. Okay. Get it back. Very close. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go to five from there. Now I've stopped. You see that keeps creeping. Now what that, what that is called is stick slip. And uh, there's a bunch of reasons for that happening. But you, for, you know, high precision, you really can't go by the, by the table dials. You got to do something like this, set up a dial indicator with uh, in measuring rods. I'm going to try to repeat here a couple times. I'm going to try to hit on that five. It's hard for me to see very well from here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it from there. There we go. Let's stop. See it still creep on. Okay, see we creeped a couple of tenths. Okay, I'm going to try it again and I'm going to stop a couple of tenths before five, if I can. Let me see. Get back up here. Now I'm going to come back. And I'm going to stop. Up. <laughs> Let me try it again. Okay. Okay, I stopped. Look at that. You see that? Okay, now I'm going to find. Oh, it was right here. Let me see. Okay, here it is. Now I'm going to tap on the machine a little bit. Oh, it already creeped. Look at that. I'm going to tap on the machine a little. How about that? Now, let's go back to that number. I think you'll like this one. Let me try it again. Ah! See, it's hard to hit a 10 thousandths on an old machine, isn't it? Oh, it's not very happy doing that. I think it over-traveled. I'm going to get it to zero up there. See it creep? Look at that. Okay, i got enough time to show you this. Hold on. I'm going to get this in neutral. That piece of junk fell down. Okay. Now, if I can get around the camera here, Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's see where we are there, okay? Now I'm gonna start on the I'm gonna start the machine. I don't know if 
to move very much. But that'll do it. I'm going to bump it again. It looks like it's still creeping. Now, see, it's getting to a point where it's settling out. Okay, I wanted to show you uh, the positioning and the effect of stick slip. And I think I've done that. I may come back with another one and show you a few other things. But thanks for looking at this. I hope it's helpful to you. Bye now.